So the Tim Forster maiden hurdle is the second race of the season then. It's hot off with two hurdles. This one's over three miles. The top one is Bailey Plume for James Shea, returning trainer from a few years ago. Darrow for Darren Thompson. Dickie Dares for Sieg Beckley. Gallagher Origin, Martin Needham. Hemsworth for Hems. Monte Cassino, Paul Fisk. Oriental Investment, T. Rogers. Tigris of Gaul, Joshua Sutherland. War Leadership, Leon Van Rensburg. Core Martel Lilly for Davy Ladd, Eileen a treat for Alex Cherry, Final Flutter for John Morgan, Goodbye Millie for Vinnie Gerard, Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck, National Heroine Paul Rose, Palavera, Ryan Costello and Pink Champagne for Derek Hinton. Called in then, and away they go. This is the second race of the season. And Final Flutter. One of those familiar John Morgan colours is the first one to show then. Pulling for its head in second is Honey Honey in the Welsh flag colours of Graham Clutterbuck. And get back to remembering who all these colours belong to. And that's one of two new ones to learn as well. And Final Flutter is the early leader then by about a neck to Honey Honey in second and a gap of about four lengths to the rest of the field who are just about headed by Pink Champagne. Tigris of Gaul, first runner of the season for champion trainer Joshua Sutherland. As they come to the first, which is slightly obscured by trees, but they're all over it okay with Oriental Investment just about the back marker, but long way to go yet. This three mile hurdle and final flutter. Gets over that one in front. Oh, there's a fall away. That's the first fall of the season, and it's Bailey Plume that's gone. So Bailey Plume becomes the first casualty of the S07 League. Crashing out at the second flight. They come past the stand at this. Taunton track, they've got two more circuits to go, and Final Flutter will be hoping to be in the lead the next two times round as well, currently leads by about a length then over that little road from Honey Honey in second, then a gap of about three lengths to more leadership, then comes Pink Champagne and Tigris of Gaul, goodbye Millie's after that one, and National Heroine on the outside with Eileen, a treat, Monte Cassino is also well placed at this stage, but they've got a long way to go, and they're pretty tightly packed, all the investment just about at the back marker, this stage as we race off into the country then with final flutter of the leader Michael two lengths to honey honey second more leadership third as they come to the third of the 12 again slightly obscured by the trees but this time they all got to the other side of it okay it's good to see so many returning trainers, well the two trainers have come back this season, they've been missing for a few seasons as well, which is good, and I've also got some totally new ones, so let's skip over flight number four, and I'll give the message out that Doug usually gives out every season to the new trainers, if you don't do very well in the first couple of weeks, don't worry about it, because it's very, very difficult to start with, so let's skip over this, uh, once the handicaps kick in, even if you're finishing right out the back, at the moment you'll be well handicapped and you'll pick some races up so don't give up don't expect much through the first three or four weeks and just get an idea about where you should be placing your horses and it doesn't really matter whether it's a tatty little race somewhere or a big group race it's a win and a win is a win in this game and final flutter is in the lead one of the heavyweight trainers john morgan with honey honey in second then comes more leadership third and pink champagne is fourth then Monte Casino and Goodbye Millie as they take the sixth. And that's half the jumping done. And they've still got a long way to go. And Final Flutter continues to show the way home. Slightly increasing that lead now and hurdling well. They skip over that. There's not that many three mile chases this week, so there's probably one or two of these. Probably going to be chases later on in the season. And they've just been tucked into this because they couldn't get in anywhere else because just one entry for the race this week. They pass the winning post again then, another circuit to go. No lockdown in SO7 land. We've got spectators and everything, and Final Flutter is the leader. And Honey Honey second and War Leadership third, that's been pretty much the same all the way around. Then Pink Champagne is fourth, then comes Tigris of Gaul, Monte Casino, Hemsworth getting a bit closer, then Dickie Dares and Darrow, with Goodbye Millie and Cartmel Lily, and National Heroine and Eileen a treat. The back three are Oriental Investment, Gallagher Origin and Palavera. They're racing down towards the next then. With Final Flutter. Clear in front. With Honey Honey just being scrubbed along a little bit there. In second. As they skip over the eighth. All over that one okay. The exception of Bailey Plume who departed the race at the second flight. The rest of them have been jumping well and Gallagher Origin is the new back market 
and final flutter comes into the ninth in the league gets over it well from honey honey second tigris of gaul is getting a bit closer wall leadership is back in fourth and there's a gap of about three lengths to pink champagne and hemsworth that one's coming out of the back night as they take the third from home and over that one they go and palavera and gallagher origin don't look all that interested out the back at the moment but final flutter is the leader a couple of lengths to Honey Honey in second. Tigris of Gore Hemsworth is the one to keep an eye on that. Look at that one creeping around the outside. War leadership is also now beginning to put his best foot forward. Gap back to Pink Champagne. Dickie Dares and our leader. Treat trying to get into it as well. We can forget the back two, but it's final flutter. Who is dying, trying to make this an all the way victory then? Comes down towards the second last flight with a good clear lead of a three or four lengths from War Leadership second. Hemsworth third. Tigris of Gore and then Honey Honey over the second last they go. And final flutter is clear by three or four lengths. And the rest of them are under strong driving. War leadership second. Hems with third. Gap back then. Two Tigris of Gaul as they take the final flight. And it's final flutter. It looks like he's going to actually win this one from start to finish. It's final flutter. The jock is pretty much motion. It's just going to get a quick backhand. then race into the final half third and keep it up to its work. And it's final flutter. He's going to take this one pretty easily. Final flutter is going to win the second race of the season. War leadership is second. Hems worth his third. Then Tigris of Gaul and Honey Honey and Dickie Dares. And Palavera was the last one to finish. So John Morgan off to a good start. First runner, first winner. All leadership second. And Hemsworth Gallic of Origin could not have been fourth. That was right out of the back. I think that's a bit of a blip. And indeed it is. Final foot of the winner then for John Morgan. War leadership was second for Leon van Rensburg. Hemsworth for Hems was third. Tigris of Gaul for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck was the horse that was fourth. Not Gallagher Origin, who was 13th. So a little bit of a blip in the old graphics there then. <laughs>